Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about inverse variation, also known as indirect variation. So let's start. The first question is, what is inverse variation? Of course, ito yung opposite ng direct variation. In inverse variation, when one thing goes up, the other thing goes down. And vice versa, kapag yung isa ay bumaba, yung isa naman ay tataas. Pag isa ay tumaas, yung isa ay pababa. For example, nagmotor kayo mula Plaridel hanggang Manila. So the longer you drive, the less gas you have. Imposible naman na galing ka ng Plaridel, nagdrive ka hanggang Manila, pagdating mo sa Manila, full tank pa rin. And that's impossible. Okay? Another example is the more you exercise, the less weight you have. Pero yung iba, baliktad yung nangyayari. The more they exercise, lalo pa silang bumibigat. Bakit? Kasi minsan, after ng exercise, kakain ng sobrang dami. So, ang tendency, imbis na bumaba yung timbang, lalo pang tumataas. Another example, ay hindi ko naman nila lahat, pero yung mga mahilig mag-add to cart, add to cart. So, the more add to cart, the less money you have. Or the more mine, the less money you have. Kasi kapag nag-mine ka, automatic, kailangan mo siyang bayaran. So, the more add to cart, the less money you will have. And marami pang example ng inverse variation. Na kung meron kang naiisip na example, pwede mong i-comment dun sa comment section dito sa video. Okay? Now, in terms of variable x and y, suppose y varies inversely as x. So, pwede natin siyang i-rewrite in an equation like this. We have y is equal to k divided by x. So, this is y varies inversely as x where this k is our constant of variation. Now, let's compare direct to inverse variation. So, in direct variation, ito yung concept niya, when one quantity increase, the other quantity also increase. And vice versa, when one quantity decrease, the other quantity also decrease. While in inverse variation, ito ay kabaliktaran. When one quantity increase, the other quantity decrease. And when one quantity decrease, the other quantity increase. Also, ito yung mga clue words na makikita natin sa direct variation. Meron siyang varies directly. While in inverse, ito ay varies inversely. Sa equation naman, meron tayong direct variation equation. We have y is equal to k times x. While in inverse variation, we have y is equal to k divided by x. Now, let's have some examples. Express the following as an equation where k represents the constant of variation. Number one, at constant temperature, the volume V of a gas varies inversely as the pressure upon it. Now, in this case, kukunin natin yung mga clue word. Yung mga clue word natin, ito yung volume, varies inversely, so we know ito ay inverse variation, saka yung pressure. So, yung ating equation must be, V is equal to, we have K divided by P, and we're done. Next, number two, to balance a CISO, the weight is inversely proportional to the distance from the fulcrum. Ito yung mga clue word. We have the weight, inversely proportional, sa yung word na distance. So yung ating inverse variation equation must be W is equal to, we have K divided by D. And we're done. Let's have another example. Which of the following table of values shows an inverse variation? So, meron tayong dalawang example dito. Yung unang kailangan gawin is kuhanin natin yung constant of variation. So, we have y is equal to k over x. In this case, we suppose that y varies inversely as x. Okay? So, we have y is equal to k over x. Now, gagamit ulit tayo ng isang point. So, kukunin natin yung 1 and yung corresponding value niya dun sa y. So, gagamitin natin yung x equal to 1 and y is equal to 120. Substitute natin. We have 120 is equal to k over 1. Now, k divided by 1 will give us k. Therefore, we have 120 is equal to k. Next, isa substitute natin para makuha yung inverse variation equation. So, we have y is equal to 200 divided by x. Now, yung unang point ay satisfied of course. How about the second? If x is equal to 2, we have 200 divided by 2 or simply 100. Since hindi siya equal dun sa nasa table, kasi nasa table ay 40, therefore, yung second point natin ay hindi na-satisfy. 
Therefore, itong table na to is not an inverse variation. Now, kung titignan, yung x value natin ay pataas and then yung y value natin ay pababa. Even though, ganun yung scenario, pataas yung x, pababa yung y, pero hindi siya nagre-represent ng inverse variation. Okay? So, now let's move on to example number 2. So, ang goal, hanapin muna natin yung constant of variation. So, we have y is equal to k over x again. Gamitin natin yung unang point. x natin ay 4, y natin is 120. Next, cross-multiply natin. We have 480 is equal to k. Next, ipalit natin dun sa ating inverse variation equation. We have y is equal to 480 divided by x. Now, yung unang point is, of course, satisfied yan. How about yung pangalawa? If x is equal to 8, 480 divided by 8, we get 60. And therefore, this is correct. Next, 480 divided by 12, we get 40. Again, yes, this is checked. And for the last, 480 divided by 16, and we get 30. Therefore, lahat ng points ay nasatisfy. It follows that this table shows an inverse variation. And we're done. Now, let's move on to another example. Solve the following problems below. Number 1, if m varies inversely as n, and m is equal to 10 when n is equal to 6, find m when n is equal to 8. Number 2, in order to balance a seesaw, the weight is inversely proportional to the distance from the fulcrum. If a boy weighing 38 kg sits 1.25 meters from the fulcrum of a seesaw, how far from the fulcrum on the other side must a boy weighing 45 kg sit in order to balance the seesaw? And number 3, the volume of an enclosed gas varies inversely as the pressure. If a tank contains 10,000 cubic centimeter of gas under the pressure of 20 grams per centimeter squared, find the volume of the same gas under a pressure of 25 grams per centimeter squared. Now, let's have the solution for number 1. Una, kailangan alamin natin yung mga clue words. So, ito yung una natin. M varies inversely as N. Now, it says na yung M varies inversely as N. So, pwede tayong gumawa ng equation. We have M is equal to K over N. Next, kailangan muna natin kunin yung constant of variation. So, paano natin makukuha yon? Gamit yung M is equal to 10 and N is equal to 6. I-substitute natin, we have 10 is equal to k over 6. Yung m naging 10 at yung n naging 6. Now, cross-multiply to get the value of k, we have 60 is equal to k. Next, i-substitute na natin yung value ng k dun sa ating inverse variation equation. So, we have m is equal to 60 divided by n. Next, find m when n is equal to 8. So, therefore, we have m is equal to 60 divided by 8. So, yung n, pinalitan lang natin ng 8. Next, simplify natin. I-lowest term natin by dividing 60 by 4 and 8 by 4. So, we have m is equal to 15 over 2 or 17.5. And we're done. Now, let's move on to question number 2. In order to balance a CISO, the weight is inversely proportional to the distance from the fulcrum. So, yun muna tayo sa first sentence. So, ano yung mga makikita natin clue doon? We have yung weight, yung inversely proportional, at saka yung distance. So, una, kailangan muna natin gumawa ng inverse variation equation. So, we have W is equal to K divided by D. Next, paano natin makukuha yung K? Gamit yung given natin na 38 kg and 1.25 meters. So, ipalit natin. We have 38 is equal to K over 1.25. Now, solve for k, cross-multiply natin, we have k is equivalent to 47.5. Now, ipalit natin dun sa ating inverse variation equation, we have w is equal to 47.5 divided by d. Next, ano yung question dito? How far from the fulcrum on the other side must a boy weighing 45 kg sit in order to balance the CISO? So, ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung distance kasi given yung weight niya. So, we have... 45 is equal to 47.5 divided by D. Cross multiply, we have 45D is equal to 47.5. Next, divide both sides by 45, we get D is equivalent to 47.5 all over 45. Simplify natin as a fraction, we have D is equal to 19 over 18 or simply 
1.06 meters. Therefore, para mabalance yung siso, yung bata na may bigat na 45 kg ay kailangang maupo ng 1.06 meters away from the fulcrum. And we're done. Now, let's proceed to example number 3. The volume of an enclosed gas varies inversely as the pressure. Now, sa unang sentence pa lang, kailangan kunin na natin yung mga clue words. Like, yung first, kailangan natin ng volume, varies inversely, and the pressure. Now, pwede na tayong gumawa ng inverse variation equation. We have V is equal to K divided by P. Next, kailangan natin kunin yung constant of variation. So, we have... 10,000 is equal to K divided by 20. Now, saan naman natin napulot yung 10,000 at saka yung 20? Ito yung unang given. We have 10,000 cubic centimeter. Ito yung volume. And yung pressure natin must be 20 grams per centimeter squared. Kaya ito ay 10,000. Ito ay K over 20. Next, cross multiply natin to get the value of K. We have 200,000 is equal to K. Next, ipalit natin sa ating inverse variation equation, we have V or the volume is equivalent to 200,000 divided by P. Next, basahin natin yung question. Find the volume of the same gas under a pressure of 25 grams per centimeter squared. So, papalitan natin ay yung pressure kasi yun yung given. So, we have the volume is equivalent to 200,000 divided by 25. Or simply, the volume is equivalent to 8,000 at yung kanyang unit must be centimeter cube. And we're done.